Hello my soccer universe. Well in my break I have not only been rebuilding this entire background here but I've also been doing some stuff with my collection. Let me point you to one thing. I managed to add this little patch here and on the three jerseys back there I added the sleeve patches for the past World Cup and for this little frost jersey over there it also has finally a World Cup winners patch but most exciting of all the match details for the Argentina Messi shirt have been added. Just let me show you here. France on the 18th of December 22. The patches from the past World Cup, which let's be honest, the World Cup patches were not all that great. But I really think that it's this France jersey that is most improved thanks to this golden patch here. And yes, the World Cup patches probably take it down a notch, but that's how it was. These were the patches worn during the World Cup and yes. This is Giroud, of course. I really want to have this jersey, got it during the World Cup. It was my Christmas present in 22, really pretty short. And I did the same thing for the newly acquired Morocco shirt. I had three sets and I said, okay, the Morocco shirt is the third one that actually deserves having patches, not necessarily the Netherlands shirt or the Spain shirt. Of course, another question is, how did I do this? Well, let me show you. Okay, this is what I got. I bought myself my own heat press. Yes, it is in pink. I bought it off Amazon on Prime Day for I think 125 euros. And I thought, yeah, I want to apply patches. I don't want to do it with the iron anymore. And so this is actually the perfect machine to get this. It is not too big. This is not a professional machine that is used in the stores because the plate is a much, much smaller one. In fact, if I would apply two digit name sets, I would have to do it in three steps for each digit separately. And then the name set at the end but I'm mostly interested in patches. Now I've already started this machine and I've tried it of course before I set it to 160 degrees Celsius which was the rec recommendation for the patches I want to apply and I also set it to 15 seconds so the timer here is also happening. Now which shirt do I want to print? Well you see it already here on the laptop and here I have Euro 2020 patches, I have a respect patch and I have match details here which are of course, Italy against England, which tells you already these should all go on this beautiful Italy home shirt to kind of finally complete it. Now you see already I put a piece of paper in between the shirt so to protect the back layer and I'm gonna place this now. So the machine is already hot. I will swivel this over taking care of the cable here which is maybe the one thing that annoys is a little bit annoying and probably I should have gotten the extension cord out but yeah we'll manage it this way as well I will place the shirt now over this pad here and while I'm doing this I actually want to make sure of two things a that the paper covers exactly the area to be heat pressed I also want to get the collar a little bit out of the way and so here this is the area that is going to be pressed, the color is slightly off and then I have here a good surface where I can put the patch now on. Now about the placement of the patch, you see already I googled a picture of Bonucci celebrating I guess after the Euros and from this picture I can actually infer a little bit about this placement and yes, probably could spend some time to uh, figure out where to place it, how many centimeters off top and so on. But I think from these pictures you can eyeball it actually quite well. From what I see here we have the Puma logo and yes also this is the replica version, this is not the player version that Bonucci is wearing here. In any case, when I look here at the Puma tail, tip of the Puma tail should line up with the flags which actually should line up with the Italia as well. So I think the match details, if I have here the Puma tail lines up nicely with the flags and goes also into the Italia. I think it's actually already quite well placed, maybe a tad higher potentially, but you know, it's not a super exact size either. The one thing I wanna though have is that I feel the tip of the collar that this lines up nicely. So I wanna have my ruler here. This is where I wanna put the patch. It's nicely in the middle. Take the foil off here. After all this measuring and so on, I have taken off the foil 
and did all the moving again and now we have the match details placed the way I would like it and you know taking off the backing foil you can already see how it shines through on, on the shirt I really like how this is placed however as always take as much time as you want to get this right or to your liking this is how I'm liking it so the next step is I put this paper over here better we'll turn it around careful with the cable here again I should have probably used an extension cord but it's fine I have set 106 degrees the timer at 15 seconds I will slightly increase the pressure as well so that I can get it really stamped onto the shirt and one two three and I'm starting the timer There we go. Again, careful with the cable. We'll take this off. And this is not printed onto the shirt. Now, this is still hot. We need to wait for it to cool down and then we can remove it. Meanwhile, we're gonna set it up also to have the patches applied where I'm using the same procedure, looking up where the patch is placed and then we'll take it from there. Here we go, match details are on. So we move on to the sleeve patches. Now, if I look at the picture of Bonucci here, I can see that the tournament logo is halfway between the Puma logo on the sleeve and the Italy flag here. So again, we will be slightly eyeballing this one. So it will go halfway up here. But interesting enough, the respect logo, and I take it from here, is a whole lot lower so this goes probably just above this part here again I will put here to protect the sleeve a piece of paper and sleeves are a little bit trickier I have to say but we have it here now and now it's always important to remember where does which logo go the tournament logo as we can see is on the right sleeve so this is the right sleeve the one where the puma logo is on the shirt also closer to where italy is and i wanna have the shirt you know you don't want to have any additional pieces below here and again we're gonna go and measure now as much as we can the sleeve is kind of loose here I don't have any protective film on the back so we're just gonna place it and what I like with these logos is much better than the World Cup logos uh, the UEFA logos they have a more quality to them it's also they have these lines here that you could use to orient yourself where is roughly the center as I said I'll probably be more or less eyeballing this one. However, I make sure that this center will point straight at the center of this Italy flag. And I think I'm really liking the way this is being placed. The other thing is when you apply this, especially since I'm filming this, there's a little bit more pressure on it. Don't get flustered. Take your time. Take as much time as you need for every little detail here. printing job for today now all this left is turn the machine off let it cool down and put it away so here is the final result in all its glory we have here the respect patch honestly I think I put it a little bit too high up but on the other side when I look at the pattern here I really like that I can put it on top of these thingies here so I like that 
this patch I think is really nicely placed and I think there's a certain symmetry to these two and of course the match details on the front. That was the main point of the entire exercise. So I am really, really pleased. But that was not all the things that I've been doing. I also have this Renaissance jersey here. It was already patched up. I made a video how I added these patches here. However, the thing is when you iron it on, this respect patch kept coming off a teeny little bit, especially after a few washes. So I had my mother actually sew this on so that it's kind of stable. The, the rest was sort of stable, although the, uh, the edge of the heart really wanted to come off. So now that I have the machine, I just pressed over these patches and ba -ba, they hold like they are freshly put on. I've done this also to a few other shirts where I use the irony method. Yes, the irony method does work. However, it's much better here and I'm very pleased with the result. Well, I cannot tell you, I think this was really, really worth it getting this little machine. Yes, I will not be able to properly apply name sets on it, but as I said, I'm not really that much into name sets per se. I really like patches. Name sets really quickly get destroyed after a couple of washes and you have to be really careful, but I will at one point try. I still have two more shirts that I really want to patch up for now where I have actually the patches but this I will do at a later point and yes for one I actually want to get a name set as well to actually get going and try this myself. This is a really fun experience I have to say I was nervous the first time that I did it uh, I think the first jersey I did was this one but it worked quite well but once you're in the groove I got the World Cup jerseys relatively quickly patched up and it all worked really fine. Now shooting this video for the Italy Sure. There were so many things to uh, consider from the camera angle, how to set it up, everything that, yeah, I got a little bit flustered. I made a few mistakes along the way, but in the end, the end result was all right. And that's the most important. I also have to say another benefit of having this machine is, of course, that I can also do now t-shirts for my girls, what this machine is actually made for. And they really like that. Maybe I also get something for uh, my wife here and there. So I have some more specialized jerseys, which is anyway the trend at the moment because they like to do these things but so far I've always pushed back and said you know we don't want to get the iron out it's just too much work with this machine yes it needs a few minutes to warm up but it's done relatively quickly and you know you can get a few done having the option to not print any shirt really opens a whole new world for me my collection in making my jerseys a little bit more special than they were before so yeah, let me know what you think about the results here and let me know whether you have a press at home. I think it's a really cool thing to have at home if you're a collector. Then I will talk to you soon about more things in my soccer universe. Bye! Hey there! I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you may enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and hit the little bell icon so you get notified whenever something happens in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day! Bye.